another shooting. The Hells Angels biker gang followed members of the Vagos biker gang before opening fire on them on the U.S. 95 freeway. Now, months later, police say they have arrested several people tied to the Hells Angels. The Hells Angels are perhaps one of the most notorious one percenter biker gangs out there. They're so infamous that literal TV shows have been based on their stories. Well, with all this power and fame, competition is sure to arise and, well, the Hells Angels have had their fair share of it. The Hells Angels are the longest continuously operating criminal organization, clocking for over 70 years. They have enemies both within and outside the group because of their reputation for violence and criminality. Although the Hells Angels have a fearsome reputation, they are not without their enemies. Number 10. Outlaws White Outlaws, because we're a brotherhood that stands for one another and we do what we want to do. And we don't mess with nobody, but nobody messes with us. A well-known enemy of the Hells Angels. The Outlaws are a notorious motorbike gang with deep roots in American culture and a widespread national and international presence since its founding in Chicago in 1935. The Outlaws were notorious for their many illegal endeavors, such as drug dealing, extortion, and racketeering. They have a frightening reputation among outlaw bikers because of their tendency to engage in violent fights. Territorial conflicts and battles for supremacy have been at the heart of the long-running conflict between the outlaws and the Hells Angels. Many wars have broken out as a direct result of these rivalries, with fatalities on both sides. Their competition has grown more intensely over the years, as they have fought over the same lucrative drug trafficking routes and sought to establish themselves as the top dog in the motorcycle club scene. In 1984, the Outlaws and Hells Angels had one of their bloodiest battles in the infamous Milwaukee War. The troubles started when the Outlaws intruded the area of Hells Angels in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Several members of both clubs were killed in the ensuing fighting, which only served to deepen their hatred. The Outlaws have had to contend with legal challenges from law authorities, as well as their rivalry with the Hells Angels. Several club members were arrested and jailed as a result of investigations and crackdowns. The Outlaws have shown remarkable resilience despite these failures because their group is still very much alive and well inside the biker underground. Number 9. Mongols The Mongols Motorcycle Club was established in the 1970s by a group of Hispanic bikers in Montebello, California, and they rapidly became known for their tough camaraderie and rebellious spirit. A patch picturing a biker brandishing a sword atop a motorbike, reminiscent of one used by Genghis Khan, was adopted as a nod to the Mongol Empire. Using this emblem as a statement of defiance against other clubs, such as the Hells Angels, is an important part of their culture. The Mongols and the Hells Angels have been at loggerheads since the commencement of the biker subculture. Geographical disputes, ideological differences, and rivalry for reputation all play a role in fueling wars with one another. As the Mongols spread their power beyond California, they ran against Hell's Angels, which sparked a series of violent conflicts between the two groups. During the 2002 River Run Riot in Laughlin, Nevada, the Mongols and Hell's Angels engaged in one of their most famous battles. A Mongol and a Hell's Angels got into an argument, which turned into a fight and they started pulling out guns, knives, and grenades. Many people were hurt and three were killed by the violence that broke out that day. This incident brought the club's strong fighting into the spotlight and served to deepen the conflict between them further. Number 8. Sons of Silence As a prospect, you're required to do whatever a patchwork member tells you to do. The Hells Angels have had a major opponent in Colorado since the establishment of this group in the 1960s. The Sons of Silence are known for their unflinching brotherhood, rigid code of conduct, and intense allegiance. Territorial issues are a common source of tension between the Sons of Silence and Hells Angels. Both organizations are heavily represented in the Midwest of the United States and compete fiercely for territory. These conflicts have sparked heated exchanges that frequently resulted in violence and casualties. The Sons of Silence have earned a reputation for being disciplined and well-organized. They have severe qualifications for joining and the club is organized in a tight hierarchy. This setup guarantees that members will do everything it takes to defend the club's honor and promote its ideals. Number 7. Vagos The 
The Vagos, also known as the Green Nation, has been a stable presence in California since the 1960s, and its influence has now spread across borders into Mexico. The Vagos have a long and storied past which has helped them rise to the top of the criminal underground. Territorial issues are the heart of the long-standing beef between the Vagos and the Hells Angels. Both organizations place a premium on the remaining dominant force in drug trade and other illegal activities inside their borders. The Vagos have a well-deserved reputation for their total loyalty to their teammates and fraternity. They are disciplined and ordered according to a tight set of rules and norms. Their hierarchical structure ensures that everyone functions smoothly. Vagos, like Hell's Angels, are a closely knit group that places a premium on loyalty and fraternity. As the power battle between the Vagos and Hell's Angels continues, violent conflicts regularly break out between the two groups. These showdowns highlight the dangers inherent in preserving monopolies. The Vagos' dedication to the group and their unwavering loyalty to one another have made them an unstoppable force in the criminal underworld and ensure the group's continuous existence and influence in the area. Number 6. Bandidos It started back in the mid-60s. It was after the Vietnam War. Most of the guys had that do-whatever-you-feel attitude uh, of it feels good, do it. The Bandidos, an outlaw motorbike gang founded in 1966 by Donald Eugene Chambers, swiftly rose to prominence. The recognizable logo, depicting a Mexican bandit in a sombrero and brandishing a machete, represents their ferocious independence. Bandidos and Hell's Angels are at each other's throats because they both want to rule the criminal underworld. Both groups have a lengthy history of involvement in criminal activities, such as drug and weapons trafficking, as well as organized crime. Conflicts between these two formidable groups has sometimes descended into violence and killing because of the high stakes involved. In 2006, during the horrific Milpira Massacre in Australia, one of the most infamous instances in the Bandidos Hells Angels rivalry occurred. Seven individuals were killed in this brawl at the Viking Tavern in Milpira, a suburb of Sydney. Four members of the Bandidos Motorcycle Club and two members of the Comancheros Motorcycle Club were dead. Number 5. Pagans A video released by the defense the night of the fight at Kopi's Bar on the south side earlier in the month. The Pagans Motorcycle Club, which has been around since 1959, is a formidable enemy of the Hells Angels, especially in the eastern United States. The Pagans' reputation for rebellion and staunch club devotion helped them earn a patch portraying the Norse deity Loki. Over the years, tensions between Hell's Angels and the Pagans has grown as the two motorcycle gangs have fought over territory, control of criminal enterprises, and other issues of importance to the motorcycle club community. The notorious Fraternal Order of the Dead case is a prime example of hostility between Hell's Angels and the Pagans. A fight broke out between Hell's Angels and the Pagans at a motorcycle convention in Lancaster, Pennsylvania in 2002. One Hell's Angel was shot and killed, whereas many others were injured during the scuffle. The already heated competition between the two groups cranked up a notch after this occurrence, as well as the general tension among the bikers. East Coast states such as Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey have been particularly volatile in the territorial battle between Hell's Angels and the Pagans. Drug trafficking routes, protection rackets, and regional supremacy are frequently at the center of such disputes. Number 4. Warlocks. A club that is 1% of bikers that will do what has to be done, live the way we want to live. The Warlocks Motorcycle Club, founded in Florida in 1967, is widely regarded as one of the most powerful groups of its kind. The long-running feud with the Hells Angels is a defining feature of their background and identity. The original members of the Warlocks Motorcycle Club were all Vietnam veterans who yearned for the open road and the freedom to ride a motorbike. The term Warlocks was chosen to represent their independence from authority and willingness to fight for what they believed in. Warlocks' original goal was to threaten Hells Angels' dominance in Florida and beyond. The sway of the Warlocks has gone beyond the borders of Florida, permeating the rest of the country and the world. As both gangs have spread to new territories in an effort to establish their control and safeguard their interests, tensions between them and Hell's Angels have only intensified. Number 3. Devil's Disciples In the 1960s, the Devil's Disciples formed and immediately became known for their unwavering devotion to clubs. 
They have a tight-knit brotherhood with a code of conduct that stresses loyalty and integrity. The Devil's Disciples, like Hell's Angels, operate under a strict hierarchy in which everyone knows their place. The Devil's Disciples and Hell's Angels are in constant struggle for control and supremacy, which is at the heart of their rivalry. Both gangs have a strong presence in the American Midwest and share territories leading to regular conflict. In the Midwest, the Devil's Disciples have made themselves known by challenging Hell's Angels' authority through aggressive and defiant behavior. These disagreements frequently escalate rapidly because both gangs want to avoid a negative public image and maintain their grip on lucrative illegal activity. Number 2. Rebels In the late 1960s, the Rebels Motorcycle Club was formed in Brisbane, Australia. The team changed its name from the Confederates to the Rebels in the early 1970s. Since then, they have steadily grown in power and membership in Australia and worldwide. Rebels are known for the tremendous problem-solving and allegiance to the club and each other. Their club colors are bright red with a white Rebels rocker on the top and a location rocker on the bottom, making them easily recognizable. These colors represent who they are as a team and the pride they have in their organization. The conflict between Rebels and Hell's Angels centers on a power struggle for supremacy in Australia's biker subculture. The Hells Angels strongholds in Queensland, New South Wales, and Victoria have seen considerable infiltration by the Rebels. Number 1. Rock Machine Motorcycle Club In the late 1980s, the Rock Machine Motorcycle Club was founded in Montreal, Canada. They were the Banditos MC before they changed their moniker to the Rock Machine, which they hoped would inspire dread in their enemies. The Rock Machine, inspired by its charismatic commander, Salvatore Cazetta, challenged Hell's Angels' dominance in Canada's biker subculture, setting off a brutal war that engulfed the country. In the late 1990s, the Rock Machine and the Hell's Angels were at the height of their conflict. Many people were killed on both sides of the fight, and many more were killed when they were caught in the crossfire. Canadians had had enough violence between the rival clubs and the resulting death and destruction, so they called for a stop to the hostilities. The Rock Machine and the Hells Angels called a ceasefire as pressure mounted, ultimately ending the battle. <laughs>